Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one right here is from Malcolm in the Middle, Season 1, Episode number 15. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It helps the algorithm. All right, we just got one quick comment from Little Mouse Says What? Who says, yay, Malcolm. Can't wait for Season 2. <laughs> mm. All right, let's get into Episode 15 right now. I picked this trick up in camp last year. This is gonna be great. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's great. Oh man. What's wrong, Reese? Nothing. Just just show up and go to sleep, okay? That's my job. It's good to be alive. Yes, no, maybe. What's up, Reese? Hey, Joey, wake up. It's Monday morning. Hooray! I never thought I'd be happy about a Monday, but today's the end of two months of being grounded. Two months. What are you doing? Shut up. I have to finish my history homework. Reese, we couldn't do anything all weekend. No friends, no <laughs> Just take the page, absolutely Joey. nothing. And you still manage not to do your homework? Hey, the point is, we never should have been grounded in the first place. He is right. Mom went way overboard. We didn't even do anything that bad. Okay, so if we can do his butt, oh, the service will eat a wet dog food sandwich. Right. Sounds good. Okay, then. Wait a minute. I don't want you ripping off my little brothers. You only get the bike if he eats the whole can. Duh. You the man, Circus. You the man. That is nasty. You the man, Circus. Oh, God. This is worth it. What's he going to tell Mom? <laughs> the guy pushed him off? Took the bike? Baby, she's not going to any of it. How'd you know we were lying? Oh, no. What's your favorite color? For the third time. Green. Let's just go. That was entertaining for a minute, yeah. though. <laughs> I got a good one. Yeah, right out of How'd you know Dewey's bike wasn't really stolen? <laughs> that is a good one. Francis told me. <gasps> Ooh, their brother betrayed them. Snitched on them. Why would he do that? To get some good I can't believe it. Full point. Prince is riding on us tomorrow. No, you wouldn't do that. You did it. Shut up. He sold us out. Francis is dead to us now. Wait a minute. That makes me the oldest brother. Guys, seriously. If you have any problems, you can come to me. Do we give us my tea? No. We should just give this to Mom and let him fry. Right. No, wait. It's Francis. We can't just take Mom's word for it. Hey, Malcolm, everything okay? Um, Francis, we were just wondering. Bro. Mom said you ratted on us about Dewey's bike. What? But she's probably just mixed up, right? Because you're a big brother, and you wouldn't do something like that. And Francis? You don't know what kind of pressure I was under. Oh, you butt wife. How could you? <laughs> well, did he do it? I can't believe you. You're a big brother. You're supposed to protect us, not betray us. He did it, didn't he? Malcolm, just let me explain. And then you actually have the nerve to ask us to risk our butts for you? Maybe we should just give the letter to Mom. No, you can't do that. Yeah, why not? Because if you give the letter to Mom, she'll know it's not Sunday. Uh, I'll just tell her it came special delivery. Yeah, well, okay. she won't believe it because she would have to sign for it. I can forge your signature. But then she'll know you can forge your signature. Which won't matter at all. It would just be so mad at you, she wouldn't even think about me for a few days. Yes, I'll just tell her. Yeah, I love how they're both just trying to figure so out ways that they can keep this thing going. Put Reese on the phone. You know how putting <coughs> a Porsche is not just for the wealthy anymore. My wife makes money. You know, you need to put Reese on the phone because really? Malcolm's too smart. Like, uh -huh. I can't get through to you. Yeah, I need maybe. to talk to your brother. I mean, it's to our brother. Yeah. Come on. This is going to sound cliche, huh? but what can I do to put you in that car today? You can give me $90,000. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's sad, That's isn't funny. it? Seriously, we have all kinds of financial plans available. Why don't we take it for a test drive? Uh, I, I don't know. You need to walk out of this store, like, work. right now. There's a phone in the car. So, do you give mom the letter now, or wait till dad gets home? Oh, yeah, dude, get you in there. this car, dude. Now, you give me that now. Now. We're not giving mom the letter. Of course we are. We have to. He's a traitor. He has to pay. He must suffer. We can't give mom the letter. She'd kill him. But we can make him think we're giving him the letter. We can make him think we're scuzzy, dirty backstabbers just like he is. Oh, okay. Hello? Hey, it's me. Well, if it isn't the snitch. Hi, snitch. Come on, Malcolm. Let's just end this before it gets out of control. I know how you guys feel. You do, huh? How do we feel? Well, bad. You know, the words that come to my mind are revenge, payback, envelope. Malcolm, you're not going to get envelope. Money left. I don't think you're going to get the envelope. Oh. No, but Richie should be right about now. Richie? Yeah. That was the best 12 minutes of my life. <laughs> wow, well, I'm glad to hear that, Hal. You know, there are a couple of people I'd like you to meet. Oh, my goodness. What the hell are these? Okay, listen up. My mom's in her bedroom, so you gotta keep it down. And remember, don't hurt my brothers. Circus! It's okay, it was ugly. Man, just get the letter. And don't let Malcolm out of your sight, he's too smart. Uh oh. What do you mean, uh oh? What did he do? He's out of breath. Damn it! He hid the letter. Okay, kid, you've got three seconds. <laughs> He's out of breath. I'm gonna pound you with. Richie, which part of no hurting my brothers didn't you understand? I gotta tell you, man, you're not allowing me a single creative thought here. Where'd you put it? In the VCR. I know. If we set fire to the house, Malcolm will go right for the letter. Why would he go right for the letter? Well, maybe we should just set fire to the house and find out. Put Justin on the phone. You the man, Francis. You the man. Put Richie back on the phone. Hey, you can tear up the house if you want with my mom here and explain it to her, or you can quit and slink away like the monosyllabic mouth breathers you are. What do he say? He said a lot of things, but the gist of it is we gotta tear up the house. No, you can't do that. Just wait a minute, I have an idea. Look at Reese, what's he doing? He's just sitting there. No, look at his eyes. What are his eyes doing? They're looking back at me. Okay, just keep looking at me. No, Reese is gonna give it away because he's gonna look at the VCR. He's looking at the VCR. No, I, I was looking at the the other thing. Bingo, we got it. Just look at Reese's eyes. He's gonna give it away. Yeah. Hey, Reese. my boys over there. I'm really sorry, you guys. Oh, it's a fake uh, one. For what? You were perfect. You did exactly what I thought you'd do. What are you talking about? They have a fake letter. I knew Francis wouldn't leave us alone without getting something, and I knew you'd give it away. I knew exactly what everyone would do. So, where's the real letter? I had to think of the one place they'd never think of looking. I had to give it to the one person they'd never think I'd give it to. I did the most brilliant thing of all. I gave it to Dewey. And I hid it under Mom's pillow. You what? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, she woke up called yeah, crazy. Oh. I'm gonna in real trouble. More trouble than we've ever been in in our entire lives. And we can't make it look like we're doing it on purpose. I just want you guys to know what you're in for. We ought to This is adorable. I love this like bro brothers. <laughs> Centric episode. Like, it's so sweet. Oh my god. Okay, we got Dad's skating trophy, Mom and Dad's wedding portrait, Mom's favorite lamb. No, Dewey. It's stuff they like, not you. Mmm. Good. Good. Paint? Yeah. That way, we not only destroy the stuff, we take out the driveway, splash in the house, and with any luck, get some collateral damage to the neighbors. What a waste. For any other reason? This will be the funnest thing ever. 
Okay, guys. For the last candy bars of your childhood. <laughs> it's a military piece. I you know. love it. They about to try to get in bigger trouble. <laughs> They're about to get in bigger trouble so they can... Episode 15 of Malcolm in the Middle, and I thought it was an okay episode, man. Look, man, I just, I really liked it at the very end, obviously. The, the brothers going hard for their other brother, taking, you know, being a um, kamikaze and just taking out all those bullets. They're like, look, to get the pressure off of him, we're going to do it ourselves. Now, I love how it all went full circle, though, with uh, the dad bringing home the Porsche. <laughs> I don't think he bought it. I just think old boy was giving him a ride home because he was sick. But now, like, the Porsche is, like, totally destroyed. Maybe he, I don't know, got to pay for the repairs or some shit. But it was just a big calamity right there. And, yeah, the the, the kids who were off of punishment today, yeah, probably ain't going to never see the light of day after this right here because that was a big F up. But it served its purpose. They got their brother off uh, um, for being so mad at it. But we shall see how this damn thing end off. Uh, on the next episode, but this was pretty good kid-centric uh, one right here towards the end, and I appreciate that. So, I love this episode. I really like the dynamic of the brothers. We haven't had that many episodes where it was very uh, centered around the brothers and their relationships and that dynamic, but this was like full-on all about the brothers, which I really enjoyed. I thought it was really good. From the beginning, as far as like the... Um, uh, the punishment, getting off punishment, like I empathize and could totally relate to that 100% thinking about back as a kid and also us grabbing our son, like that is the vibe, that is like we're at the last day, um, but I will say for Malcolm being as smart as he is, there is no way I would jeopardize my first day off punishment by doing something stupid like skipping school, like ever, like there's no yeah, way, totally. I would have, there's just no way I would do that, so I think that is a little... Uh, ridiculous on Malcolm's part to uh, because he's the one that suggested it. if it would have been Reese that suggested it I could have seen it but that was wholeheartedly Malcolm's idea um, so he gets no points for that um, but I do like the dynamic of I thought it was really great too with um, the mom I can't think of her name right now the mom being sick um, and being so you know fluish and uh, hallucinating so to speak and telling all the truth I, I thought that was a really fun dynamic and really interesting as well um, and then I love the end as far I, I loved everything about how to as far as uh, him being obsessed with a Porsche I thought that was so like spot on to like dad mode who like this is his one chance yeah um, uh, yeah and like I loved his uh, flashback to his dream as far as like what it would be like to have it I just thought all of that worked and was so uh, so uh, so aligned with his character which is really fun to watch again because we only know him from Breaking Bad it's just a total different character and it's just refreshing almost every single time because he's so embedded in my mind as Breaking Bad so this is just a total different character so I'm still trying to like get used to him being this silly and goofy but I love it it's so fun and then lastly the brothers coming through for Francis at the end I thought was just extremely like sweet and like 
they they took a big L. I mean, they're going to be <laughs> suffering for a long time. Yeah. Um, and I love the fact that they won't come off the roof because they essentially like, what are you going to do now? Uh, I love all of it. I thought it really worked. I really could connect to it, relate to it. And it, it's one of my favorite episodes of the season. So I really yeah. enjoyed it. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Malcolm in the Middle, Season 1, Episode 15. And until next time, people, peace.